everybody welcome to creativity time my name is Tatiana and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Australia I am starting on the desk today because I'm having a bad hair day <laughs> I'll be honest <laughs> I wasn't gonna share but then I decided to be honest honesty is the best policy I have not played enough with the thoughtful blooms stamp set from the celebration catalog hello tanya and the coordinating punch which is called small bloom it's a very cute little punch that can punch out the flowers from the stamp set and i thought it'd be fun to make a card or even do i'm going to go with a pink theme today i've got floaty flamingo blushing bride and petal pink Let's get stamping. I'm hoping to do two cards. I've already mounted this flower and this itty bitty one onto my clear blocks here. And we're going to be using the Whisper White note card and envelope. This is the note card, here's the envelope. Might as well do the prep work now. And the note card is when you close it, five inches by three and a half I want to say I can't remember but I've cut a piece of whisper white to be a quarter of an inch smaller and you get that nice little border thing going and I've just got another piece of whisper white which I'll stamp and cut the flowers from I'll start with the lightest color the petal pink this is a photopolymer stamp, which makes it really easy to see where you're stamping. And I'm going to go one, two, three, and let's say I definitely want three for one card. Go one, two, three. I'm trying to keep the stamps in the middle of this card piece so that once I punch it all out I can still use the cardstock as a mount somewhere else. I'll go two more. Might need another piece. I'm starting to think there isn't enough. Hope everyone is well. We're getting straight into the stamping today because there's no time like the present to make a card. Just give them that a clean and now I'm going to go into the use the blushing bride stamp set again one two yes i'll definitely need another piece yep where is it there it is because it's hard to get into the middle I don't know why I'm spreading out the colors either. Honestly, I feel like I haven't had enough sleep lately. Just a bit. Ugh. So how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was Blushing Bride. Oh, excuse me and now we're moving on to flirty flamingo <coughs> one two <coughs> and three four five six seven eight can always do more if we need and now the fun bit the punch <coughs> excuse me aspirating now that's got a slight pink tone to it because of all the colors I've been using so I'm just going to quickly use the stamp cleaning pad this really is a magical magical item you can see now that that pink tone has been removed from that stamp the photopolymer stains really easily 
and this stamp cleaning pad works miracles, particularly when you use it straight after. I'm now a little obsessed with not getting my photopolymer stamps, um, what's the word, stained. I'm cutting these out. It is a smaller flower to the, what do we call it, to the punch size. I'm trying to center the flower. And I wanted that hint of color. Perhaps could have stamped off. But that's all good. Need to rotate that. I'm trying to keep all the colors the same colors together makes it easier for assembling the card. That's all of the flirty flamingos. Now the blushing bride. It's not a fun one to say, blushing bride. Makes me think of my wedding day. Ooh. I'm being all nostalgic now. There we go. Put that to the side. And if I use that underneath, you can see I can easily mount another piece on top. And the fact that we've cut flowers out won't matter. That's it. That is the blushing bride. Now we've got petal pink to go. Stamp it so that it would cut this way. It's not a nice spot for the flower to land. I am a bit careful about where I'm lining these up so that they're fairly centered. You could, because it's a photopolymer stamp, you could actually cut the flowers first and then you're not doing that whole accuracy thing and then line them up on your table and stamp onto the cut piece. It's photopolymer, it will be fairly easy to line up. There we go, and card number one, this is a bit rough, card number one, let's see, the dark colour, I want one, two, Oops, come on, three, one, two, and I need to move that down that's why I'm lining it all up without gluing one two three bit of a I'll do that at the bottom yeah like it that way just a bit of glue where's my take your pick now this is how I like to glue little bits I take my take your pick tool Add the glue. I'm just adding it to the center and then line that exactly where I'd like it. And bing bang boom. I'm doing the two edge ones so I can line them up. And then that way you can place the middle one exactly where. Are they cute flowers? This could work on a regular 
really nicely on a regular card size and it would it would take up I mean physically it will take up the exact same amount of space but visually it will have more white space around it but I felt like using note cards today they really make quick and simple cards I like the size there not too big and not too small and then all we have to do is flip that over and add it to the card front just a very simple this is why I like the liquid glue I can adjust you saw that you could have seen that it went lopsided and because the glue wasn't hundred percent set I was able to and no card is complete without some stamping on the envelope and on the inside we're going to take the floaty flamingo again Go add it to the corner there and to the corner of the card here very plain and simple, giving that a wipe down. No, is it? Yep, see, it's got a little bit of staining. All you need to do is press, 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 press. So, I found that if you rub on the pad, you'll start breaking the pad up, but by pressing, you'll be all good. And then it needs to be rinsed in water just use the chamois quickly but then later after the video finishes I'll go and take that under the tap just to give it that extra rinse awesome I do have another piece of note card and envelope ready to go really should perhaps close the ink pad before I do this but... and I'm going to just do something a little bit different we're going to go this way and I thought we could do a diagonal of flowers. One. One. Two. Do it like this. Just laying it out, seeing how it all fits in. First. One. worry about the bits coming off the edges you can trim them later if I move that down there I like that yes perfect so pretty good morning Margaret thank you for joining I am just trying something a bit different to be honest okay I like the positioning of that what I might do I've got a piece of glad press and seal here I'm going to pick those up so that they stay in that position and now we're going to take this itty bitty little one that one here and we're going to clear emboss oh that that one moved why did you move there we go I'm going to clear emboss some flowers the reason why I've put that back in just to get an idea of where I wanted to put them good morning Dory thank you for joining me I am adding some embossing powder to the card front and I'm using Versamark ink Ooh. stay there I kind of want it oops that didn't stamp very well you probably can't see but oh that's all right 
to do two lines the clear ink and this is clear embossing powder is that showing up on the camera it's a bit yeah I think you can see you can see there I double stamped and but that's okay not a big deal it is clear so it's not going to be a huge visual I'm going to cover up my stamp first and now heat up the heat tool Hopefully you'll be able to see that and if you find your paper warping you can always go from switching heating from the front there we go to heating to the back and warp so it's very subtle but you can get that glimmer of the little flowers there and these did move around so I'm not going to I'm having one of those mornings do you know what I mean just things aren't quite working out but I'm happy to be here happy to be crafting it's always nice to craft using the same trick as we did with the first card and that was a bit higher there just a spray of flowers essentially Trying to keep the orientation. running low I like to keep using it until I can't get any more out and then I do cut them open and use a paintbrush I'm talking about the glue sorry if that may have not come out and then we're going to add it that to the card front do we want a sentiment I think we'll put the sentiment on the inside and what we're going to do is take our paper snips hello Karen thanks for joining me and just trim so I flipped the paper to to the back because then where I can see the exact line of where the cardstock ends and trim that nice and easily And you can just see, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I can still see those little white clear embossed flowers there. And it just really adds that little bit of something extra. And glue that to the note card. Now, if you wanted, hello, Nancy. Nice to see you here. You don't know we don't normally get to catch each other's lives. <laughs> Hope your travels home are safe. Um, if you wanted, I've got three different pinks here, but if you wanted that tonal variation, you can stamp off. You could have stamped once, twice, and three times the, the generation. Cute and simple. Thank you, Tanya. That's the kind of the theme of today. Cute and simple. 
push those to the side and let's have a look. I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. Um, congratulations or thank you. I'm going to go with the simple thank you. Ooh, I've got flowers inside there. Thank you. one put it away thank you Margaret and what we'll do is I'll stamp that on the inside I'm gonna use blush and bride this time thank you center that awesome and of course I need to stamp a flower because that's the theme. Stamp a flower to the edge here. Pretty and I think I'm gonna go with some flower stamping on the diagonal of the envelope. Sort of a bit like the front of the card, but all in one color, not to give things away with what's on the inside. Thank you, Margaret. Have I already said that? I don't know. Like I said, my head is wonky today. So there we have it. Two very fun, simple cards. Simply using the Celebrations Thoughtful Blooms and the Celebrations Small Blooms Punch. You can get the stamp set for free when you do a $90 order. You can get the small punch free when you do a $180 order. And then you can make lots of fun cards and they coordinate. Do, 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 do. And if you would like to know how to place an order, I will let you know. But firstly, I'll let you know about my customer loyalty program. For every $50 you spend, you get a sticker. Collect 10 stickers and get a $50 product for free. Let's see, where can I put that? There, and to order, you have three choices. One is to shop online, and you can do this 24 seven, on the lounge, in your pajamas, however you like, and the link is bit.ly forward slash shop with Tatiana. And that's a capital S, capital W, and a capital T. And use the host code for this month of 39QDG. Oops, that's not going to look good. How good are these friction markers? So that was a D and a G. 4BP. And you get a free gift from me. Second often option is to message me with your order and the third option is to email me your order and that would be at stamping at tatiana creative dot com dot au no spaces all in one line Thank you so much for joining me, spending time with me. Hopefully I've inspired you to try out some stamping and make some simple, quick, easy cards. Okay, catch you later at the next one. Bye for now.